Assalamu alaikum. We're in this remote village here in Malawi. We had uh, this group of people who became Muslim earlier on. Uh, when did they accept Islam, this group? Uh, they accepted Islam. Today we three weeks ago. And when we have people accepting Islam, we don't leave them behind. We take care of them. We start daily new Muslim classes. Here is one new Muslim class taking place. Um, so you're the local teacher here or the coordinator here? What's your name? I'm uh, one of the coordinators. This is uh, actually a district coordinator. Sure. Yeah. So you review what's happening. They, they are the teachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are the teachers. We usually come to see how are they teaching the new Muslims. Um, if there are challenges, we sit down and try to solve the challenges. Sure. How many people are behind us here? Yeah, this one is He's a teacher? Yeah, this one is so you, have, you have two teachers as well. Yeah. Okay. 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 Iman will get stronger and stronger. So it's a very comprehensive cycle. It's a system that is self-sustaining. So we we are not going to leave them without uh, without follow. Yes. yes. Can you introduce uh, who Qasim is? Adnan. Can you introduce him? And Sheikh Qasim is one of our first outreach specialists. We started with five people in Malawi. He's one of the first recruits. He's still with us. Five years. We are over 100, 200, nearly 200 Dohat. Sheikh Qasim is one of the leaders. He is the education officer for Malawi. He uh, basically conducts all the, the education programs, uh, the, the curriculum, curriculum, the curriculum and all that. So Sheikh Qasim is here with us. Sheikh Qasim, what do new Muslims, like the ones behind us, what do they actually learn here in this village? Yes, so they make uh, they, they, they uh, six articles of faith, like belief in Allah, the belief in angels, uh, Jannah, Jahannam. So yeah, yeah. So this is the, the books, the prophets. You know, the uh, Prophet Muhammad.
Prophet ﷺ. So these are things they believe, uh, the, the, some of the lessons they take from this process. Also they learn how to make a wudu and also how to perform salah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. The basics. Yeah, yeah, the basics. And we teach them, uh, obviously we teach them uh, how, to, how to pray and how to do these things, but they need long-term support. So what do we have in place for them? intensive training the imam one no this is for one month okay. so we have also the, the imam new imam. muslim imam yes. yeah so these programs have been put in place so that we can you know retain uh, the new muslims so that they can be um, new muslims who are practicing and also they can give their uh, and also support other new muslims their fellow sure. new muslims yeah Excellent. well that's it just one last point thank you so much for your help how do you ensure, and uh, Sheikh Qasim as well, if you can come, Sheikh. So, you guys are from headquarters, right? But you have the du'at here, you have the coordinators here. How do you ensure quality control that things are being taught in these villages? They are, they are different structures. What I see is that nothing works in the exact system. Just today, for example, without systems, processes, and things are going to collapse. The structure for you, these are the du'ats, which are the villages. We have a coordinator who comes and visits the business daily basis to check what is happening actually on the ground and if it is happening or not. And if what we are getting the reports, are they correct reports or not, they verify. And then the coordinator submit the reports to the offices, whatever is needed. But apart from that, we have the whole district. They have a head. The district head is the reason we are supposed to vision what we need in the district, how we can coordinate between other organizations if they need other work needed, we need permissions and facilitate for the whole district and uh, then we have meetings with the district just this morning we had a meeting at the office from 7 o'clock to 7 o'clock yeah, meet all the district heads, get reports, get feedback and check what has happened and what we need to do and then for the next week every week excellent so by now there's checks happening for say the basic school like yeah, yeah. Right? so what's the purpose behind this check why do we do this afterwards yeah to see uh, how the classes went on so that we can at least understand and see if there is some challenges still so that we can in the next field we can at least solve those challenges and get solutions for those challenges yeah, yeah just excellent. to just to add another thing we also try to see hey. the progress. If the progress is not good we will be likely to stay another month and we do that and that's what you know they're mentioning that because where they have less food Muslims, they try to add up uh, more deals, uh, another month just to make sure that we give them enough knowledge. So we don't just finish up just one month and we're done. If there is one need, we'll be there with them for more time so that we can give them enough uh, knowledge which they need. So as you can see, the New Muslim Support Program here in Africa, here in Malawi, is very strong. We take care of these New Muslims. Thousands of people are accepting Islam and we have full-time teachers teaching them. We have coordinators who are coordinating that teaching, making sure it's being done. On top of that, we have the New Muslims Support Program. So we have the Dawah Committee made up of all Muslims and New Muslims from the locality. We have the New Muslim Imam Training Program. We have the Chiefs Retreat, so the Chiefs of this, this particular area. All these layers of New Muslim Support. Why? Because Shahadas are easy. But it's, uh, it's the New Muslim Support which is really going to make a difference here. And we know through a hadith of the Prophet that Islam will enter every house. Now, of course, we want to be part of that. But a part of Islam entering every house is not just giving da'wah, but taking care of these new Muslims. Because we want these new Muslims to go out and give da'wah. And that's already happened in Malawi. New Muslims have gone out and given da'wah. And we've met people who are giving da'wah and they've had people accepting Islam from them. So Jazakallah khair to everybody who's been supporting IRA over the years. You can get the reward of all of this work. Click on the link below and support the work of da'wah.